Well, Petri and Makita, it is so great to see you both again. How you doing? I am fabulous. I've got my party shirt on and there's a, a very special reason for that. But we'll save that news for just a little bit on because it is very exciting. Now, hey, you two are in Las Vegas because you're about to um, catch up with Chris Rock at the Coliseum. You all great old chums? <laughs> I, I, I wish I could say that. I actually did a, uh, I, I actually did a guest spot on uh, Everybody Hates Chris, you know? Yeah. So, so I, I think that's, that's the closest we've been. It, his voiceover and my presence on there. <laughs> uh, but uh, but I, I, I've met him several times. I hope you don't feel inclined to romp up on stage and, uh, <laughs> you know, follow in Will Smith's footsteps, shall we say? Yes, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, well, you know, the rumor goes that now when you go and see comedians behind what happened with Dave Chappelle at the Hollywood Bowl, yeah. uh, you know, now, now they charge you twice for a ticket to see comedians. One for the comedy show and two for the boxing that takes place right after. <laughs> <laughs> now, Petri, you, having worked around the law for such a long time, in and out of courts, of course, for 25 years, you were bailiff yeah. third alongside the great Judge Judy. What did you make of that Will Smith, Chris Rock slap shenanigans? Oh, one big props to Chris Rock for, uh, you know, remaining um, mm. in, in control. You know, and continuing to to do what he was, you know, he was asked to do, which was, you know, uh, do a presentation at the Oscars. Uh, and so, you know, kudos for his professionalism. Uh, as for Will, um, it was so out of character, you know. Uh, yeah. and, and 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 I think the thing that that most moved me was when uh, they interviewed uh, his mother, and his mother said, you know, that is not my son. That's not the way he was raised and that's right. not how he's been. And and I'd have to be in agreement with her all these years, we haven't known Will to be like that. Never. And so there's something wrong, there's something wrong. And, and, I, and I read today uh, that he has agreed to uh, uh, counseling, you know, uh, uh, he's gonna go to, he's gonna go to therapy because th that, that speaks to a, a deeper situation. I don't think he was mad at Chris, I don't think that he was necessarily upset about what Chris said. I think that there was something that triggered him that, you know, and and, and it, it was actually temporarily, temporary insanity. See that play out. I think that's why so many people initially thought, oh, this has got to be some kind of setup. This was just so completely right. out of the ballpark, wasn't it? Right, right. And 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 he was, just, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, but he was just, he was just out of control. And, and, and you know, in this cancel, culture it is so easy to dismiss people and to put them down and say, you know what, um, I'm not ever going to go and see his movies. And I, you know, uh, instead of saying, hey, what the hell went wrong? You know, matter of fact, you know, uh, you know, there before the grace of God go I, you know, I, I could wind up in the same position you know, over over a, a traffic infraction. He went, of course, uh, to India recently where he's been catching up with a, a spiritual guru, which again, <laughs> gives the impression that he's very much looking inside and looking to rectify whatever it was that went wrong that night. And we shouldn't speculate any longer. You know, looking back on your Judge Judy is 25 years. I think, Petri, you hold the record for the longest serving TV bailiff in TV history, is that right? Uh, when you get a chance, please call uh, Guinness. And <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> you know, I think they gave us the, for you know, the longest running That's judge. the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> Fabulous. I've got the wonderful <laughs> Petri Bird on the other line. Yep, no, they're on the case. <laughs> That's wonderful. It's still done. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, my new publicist. I a big round of applause. Right. But you two go way back. Just quickly sketch for me, Petri, again, mm -hmm. how it was that you and Judith Scheinland first met up because it was way before your television day. So uh, in 1986, I started working at Manhattan Family Court. I worked with, a, with many judges there, uh, but the one that uh, stuck in my mind probably the most was Judge Judy Scheinland. Yeah. Um, in 1990, I, I left uh, I, I left Manhattan Family Court, moved out to California, and um, uh, I worked for uh, a few years at the uh, U.S. Marshal Service. And then uh, fate twisted, it took a turn, and I wound up uh, a, a counselor at a high school. 
in, in Santa Clara, California. And I was reading in, in a gossip column and I saw the name Judy Shineland, that she had written a book uh, and that um, they were developing a TV show for her. So I, I got excited, you know, reading about somebody that, that I knew, you know, and I wrote her a letter and, and sent that letter off to Manhattan Family Court. Um, God bless you. It couldn't happen to a nicer person. Wish you well. Yeah. P.S. If you ever need a bailiff, I still look good in uniform. Well, that little joke turned into 25 years on TV. She called me back. Uh, she thanked me for the letter and she said, uh, I know you were kidding, but we do need a bailiff. And uh, we tried it with a regular actor and, and, and it did, it, it's not working out because it's an unscripted show and he's got to know how I move. She said, and as I recall, you're kind of crazy. I said, well, I'm still kind of crazy. <laughs> she said, well, if you're crazy enough to try it with me, I'll recommend you for the job. And she did that sight unseen. You know, this was all pre computers and stuff like that. So you, you didn't have that immediate gratification of being able to see somebody and be able to tell whether they had gained 200 pounds. You know? so, <laughs> thank goodness I didn't. <laughs> and did you really still look good in that bailiff's outfit? I really, you, you know what? You know what? Sure did. Because I had, I had three kids at the time, yes. uh, fourth one on the way. And uh, I got nowhere near the refrigerator, so I was in great shape. <laughs> in fact, to now, some, I was underweight. <laughs> I must point out that was with your first marriage, not with Makita. No, 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 no. <laughs> what was Judas Scheindlin like back in those really early days when you were working together in the, um, the family courts in New York? You know, always, uh, always very acerbic, very, you know, uh, witty, uh, no nonsense, yeah. you know. Uh, a, a, a quick study, you know, I mean, smart, you know, all those things that she brought to the Judge Judy television show, that's exactly what she was in, in Manhattan Family Court, you know. You, Makita, worked uh, on Judge Judy's show as well as a producer. Yes, I got hired in 2016 and we hid our relationship for like a year. And you two have been married now three amazing years almost. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. 2019. Like, yeah. how it goes by so fast. It's, 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 and, it's, and it's been wonderful. Now, what was it like when you're both working together? And I guess you weren't really meant to be dating, as it were. How did you keep it in the beginning a kind of secret? Well, I wanted to be known for my work mm -hmm. and not for who I was dating, yep. especially since he was talent. Um, and I didn't want that to get in the way because I just started the job. And um, I wanted to like see where things were going if I was really serious about him or if he was really serious with me. And then the cat was out the bag when we went to Italy <laughs> and I put that picture on, on the uh, Instagram and we had to sign a, uh, what is it, a document? It's yeah, we had, to, we had to sign a waiver. You yeah, know. for CBS. And yeah, make sure CBS wasn't blamed in case she decided to bring a lawsuit against me. You know, <laughs> see, for her, it was all of that. For me, it was my, my great acting skills from the Denzel School, Washington. I don't know her. I've never known her. <laughs> and that's, that's what kept it going. That's, that's how we hit it all oh, that time. Oh, wow. And, and what was Judge Judy like to work with for you, Makita? I mean, would she romp into the office with homemade cookies and things like that and say, hello, everybody, good morning? No, actually, oh. she was very separate from the office. She didn't want any parts of that. But she liked me, like, yeah. when we was on set. I was the courageous one. Everyone was scared of her, and I didn't know why. But I was just like, hi, I'm Makita. Like, and she liked me, so... Every every uh, tape day, I would knock on her door, and I would say, "Good morning, Judge. How you doing?" And that's it. Makita from Queens, balls to the wall, man. She <laughs> don't play. She's like, "Yo, I'm from New York. You from New York? I'm coming up to say hi to you. Hi, <laughs> yeah. you know." And the judge said, "No, the judge adores her." She, she adores her. Yeah. Would there be people around the office that would kind of go, <gasps> "I'm a little bit terrified of of, of the judge." Oh. oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> like nobody wanted to like they were scared to say hi to her hmm. and i'm like she's 410 she is you know she's approachable at times when you think that she's going to be least approachable mm -hmm. so every day every day that we would take you know we would have guests who were there and you know they would line up the guests at, at a certain point 
to allow them to take a picture with her, you know? And I remember a few times guests, certain guests of mine might have come late, you know, they might have come in the afternoon. And I would go and I would go, excuse me, Judge, do uh, you mind taking a picture with my, oh, absolutely, Bert, no problem. And she'd get up and she'd come out and she would greet them and, and you know, make them feel like, you know, like she knew them. Petri, you look at your journey through all of that, 25 years of being on a show like Judge Judy is pretty jolly phenomenal. And then, of course, she brought the gavel down on her show and her new show was not to include you. And I know a lot of your fans, they kind of got upset and a bit outraged and that's understandable. But you know what? That's television, isn't it? As far as I was concerned, you know, one door closes so that another door can open and yes. you will pay attention to that door and go through that door. You oh, yeah. Instead of trying to go back, you know. Um, and so that's the way I took it. You know, she was she was totally within her right to, you know, to uh, create a new show and, uh, you know, or to attempt to create, create a new show that she thought was going to be successful and not try to go over the same territory that she had already been over for 25 years. Of course. You know? I know for you too, though, that came at a very bad time because, Makita, you were battling a horrible health issue. You were dealing with yeah. brain cancer. Yeah, stage three. And I found out in March and then I had surgery on the 16th of April, the day after. After Judy we ended, ended Judge Judy. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, you know, God works in mysterious ways, but um, I had to take chemo, radiation and um, for six weeks. And then I did chemo for um like another eight months another or... eight months mm. and then i got a biopsy um on march 29th march our anniversary 29th, right? of, <laughs> and, of this year. yeah of this year and it's um it was benign fabulous so, um, but she's doing marvelously yeah. uh you know yeah. what i really do think love has a whole bunch to do with that don't you when you're going through something that is just such an extraordinary ordeal and such an emotional roller coaster to have somebody like Petri right by your side the whole time. Did I say that he was the best caretaker? Like yeah, the award goes to now. Petri Bird. I thank you. <laughs> the best caretaker. I couldn't ask for anything. On behalf of all the caretakers <laughs> the world over, I want to say thank you. That is just so beautiful. And then due to, um, in the wake of Judge Judy, or maybe even a little before, you'd created this bonding with Bird which oh, yeah. is so wonderful. It's very inspiring, I think, for a lot of people. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. And we love doing it, you know? Like, yeah. every Tuesday, it's like, whether I feel good or not, I want it. But, yeah. like, in that hour, I just feel great, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, talking about hot topics and, you know, Tinking Tuesday, <laughs> keeping it reality. It, it, is, it is so funny because just before we go on, um, on, on Tuesdays, we we are we are usually at each other's throats, <laughs> you know, you know, I, you know, because she's she's such a producer, she's such a great producer, and I'm like I'm I'm the talent, you know. It's like uh, just turn on the light, tell me when my when, when my cue is, ta da, I'm ready, and she's like, like all no. all the behind the scenes stuff, making sure the lighting's right. Oh, you're not wearing that, are you? Go upstairs and put on what I told you to put on, you know, and I'm better. I, and that's how we are. And then all of a You're sudden, like, the, like, we hit <laughs> right, right, we hit, we hear the music, and then as soon as the music stops, like, hi, welcome to Bonnie and Bird. I'm the I'm Bird. You know. <laughs> But I mean, also, Petra, you're building quite the career for yourself as an actor too. I know in the Bold and the Beautiful, not too long back, you actually uh, married off. Was it Steffi and Finn? Here's the thing, you know, I I, I don't want to let everybody know this, but I had never seen the Bold and the Beautiful before that. <gasps> I I I I thought it was a joke when you know when somebody said it to me. I went, the who? The, 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 who? What is that? You know, and uh, you know. The, it, it was it was a marvelous opportunity. Now I'm a fan. Now I, now I have to constantly keep uh you know keep abreast of what they're doing. <laughs> uh, you also produce Petri and are starring in a movie that people can see now on uh, Amazon Prime, uh, which is called The Polished Soul, which is actually a real a true yes. life story, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you know the the gentleman uh, Mike Anderson who yes. wrote it is it's his story. Of, of of his uh, battle of, of going through prison and and 
of coming out and it's a story of redemption and everything. And, uh, you know, I was honored when he asked me to play his father in it. And, uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was a great opportunity, you know. Um, there, there, there are probably a few pictures, if, if, if people take the time to look, there are probably a few movies, uh, independent films that, that I have uh, small roles in. And in fact, in a couple of them, I actually play a judge. You know, so you know, ironically, so yeah, so 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 we're hoping that's a prophetic sort of uh, sort of deal with the with the movies. You know, sometimes uh, uh, truth is stranger than fiction, and and fiction winds up becoming the reality. You know, so uh, we'll we'll see. Hopefully, uh, you know, there's a judgeship in my future. Bit of exciting news: Petra, you and Judge Judy are back together. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know, uh, no, no. The the funny thing is. Uh, the band is back together, but in a weird sort of way. So uh, Judy is not the lead singer of of, of, of this particular uh, band, but uh, she is the, the, uh, a producer. Yes. Of it. And, and so and so the name of it uh, tentatively is uh, Tribunal. Uh, yes. And it it, uh, it has three judges, so it's it's much uh, it's very much like Hot Bench. Yes. Uh, and uh, they're supposed to be utilizing a lot of uh, video stuff and, and a lot of new technology to, uh, to try to do some different things on there. And one of the judges, well, I'm sorry, two of the judges, uh, Patricia Domango and um, mm -hmm. Tanya Acker, they, from they are Bench. from uh, Hot Bench. And uh, the third judge uh, is somebody pretty close to Judge Judy's heart. And Let that would be Adam Levy. But that be her Adam son, Reedy, Adam. Her son, yes, yes. indeed. Who was a district attorney, wasn't he, in another life? Absolutely, yeah. I believe in Westchester County. So, uh, you know, and, and I've known Adam for some years now. And uh, uh, he and I are fans of each other. So, uh, so I'm glad to have the opportunity to work with him. And you are back in your bailiff's outfit, aren't you? Yes, I am. Uh, the, the, the holding it down doing the crossword puzzles, making sure to stay awake during most of the trials. <laughs> and uh, you, you, know, you, know, you know me, man, I'm, I'm the dude with the attitude. <laughs> oh, I know, but that's why we love you. Now, True Confessions, uh, is it the same bailiff's outfit or is it a new bailiff's outfit? I want a new bailiff's outfit. Mm -hmm. You know, I, you know I'm, I'm getting a little older, Maybe getting a little heavy around the middle. What? I'm looking. I'm looking for something in a dark blue, maybe basic black. You uh -huh. know, slimming. You know. <laughs> you, you know. Oh my gosh. Have you started filming it? Oh, uh, we have not. We have not. And I, uh, I haven't gotten the signal as to when we're going to start filming. But I think it's probably going to be somewhere around August. Okie doke. And where can fans right around the world catch this? Okay, so uh, what used to be IMDb television, which nobody found, is now Amazon Freebie. Uh -huh. Which everybody's finding. That, yes. That's, that's yes. right. If it's free, they're going to find it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Freebie. You know, you had 25 years of what was a great chemistry. Uh, that's what I say. That's what I say, and you know, and and ready to you know see what the future holds because you know there 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 are some other things in the, in the workings and, and some other ideas uh, that I have that uh, you know definitely want to talk to the, the the good folks at Amazon about you know uh, you know uh, you know when you're when when you're when you're a kid you know and you know you want to drive the Batmobile when you get older. You want to own the Batmobile. Mm -hmm. And when you get even older, you want to own Wayne Manor and the Batkid, you know? <laughs> so so, so I'm, look, I'm, look, I'm looking to do that and rename it the Robin Cave. <laughs> you know? Oh, I love it. But look at you, too. I come back to it. You are so happy. Three years of absolute wedded bliss. You've been yeah. in various ways to hell and back. And now you're through, as Auntie Mame sang, open a new window, open a new door. And good things come flooding in, don't they? That's absolutely, right. That's absolutely. Right. Yep. We look forward to seeing Tribunal and we look forward to seeing much more of you two and bonding with Bird. For those who've not found it yet, they need to hop on that keyboard, hunt it up and uh, just sit back, relax and enjoy of a fabulous hour with you both. Thank just, you. Just, just tell them to go on YouTube and I, I promise they'll, they'll have as good a time as we have. Yeah. You know? And make sure you subscribe.
<laughs> Aha, yes, sub hit that little red button down there that, that says that's subscribe. Right. That's right. It's been fabulous to catch up again, and I'm so thrilled to be able to, uh, uh, to revel in this wonderful news that you're both sharing. You, Makita, with your health, yes. and you, Petri, with, uh, with your career. You and the judge are back together. How fab. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. Hey, fab, fab too. Huh, we'll work on it. <laughs>